And hey there, and welcome back to another video from What Is Your Doctor Phone. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to be looking into some efficient ways to transfer photos from Android to iPhone easily. Before we dive right into the details, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for all of the latest news related to such content. Now with that, let's get started. So for part one, time-saving solutions in just one click. Now to start our discussion, we're first going to take a look at the most effective methods available. Since you would always prefer to save your time, you should try considering Dr. Phone for this purpose exactly. Even with Dr. Phone, we actually have two different methods prepared just for the right time, and this solution will help you tackle all of these inconveniences related to transferring photos between Android to iPhone. So let's look ahead at the following details. The one-click transfer photos from Android to iPhone using, using Dr. Phone phone transfer. So Dr. Phone phone transfer is a great way that you can consider transferring your photos from Android to iPhone. As it guides a complete transfer of respective data between devices, it is very efficient at executing the process. So let's look ahead at the following step. So step one is going to be to open up Dr. Phone and then click on phone transfer. And from the options available across the main interface, go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. As it gets, I detected to just set the source and destination of the process and then put your Android and device across your source and iPhone in the destination position and then select photos from the list available on the screen and then click on start transfer in order to successfully transfer photos from Android to iPhone and you can selectively transfer photos from Android to iPhone as well using Dr. Phone phone manager for Android if you don't want to transfer absolutely everything. And you can even consider using Dr. Phone phone manager for Android for this purpose. If the process involves transferring selected files between both devices, this method is surely made for you. Now try using the phone manager function on Dr. Phone with the steps coming right up. Now, so go ahead and launch Dr. Phone and then click on Phone Manager. And from the available options, make sure that your Android and iPhone devices are connected to your computer. As the Android device is recognized across the platform, lead into the Photos section and then select the respective list of photos that you want to transfer to your iPhone. And then once selected, go ahead and click on the Export button in order to select the option to export to device. And you should find your iPhone across the available devices from there. So for part two, you can also do this by using move to iOS app. So along with other techniques available for transferring photos from Android to iPhone, we have an official direction that, uh, that a user can take for transferring their photos from Android to iPhone with ease. And move to iOS app has been recently introduced as a consistent solution for moving uh, data across Android and iPhone from there. Now we're going to discuss a couple of steps in order to get this done. So turn on your new iPhone and then proceed over to the apps and data section. And there you have to select the option to move data from Android. And if you have an old iPhone, you will have to factory reset data to reconfigure this device. Alongside this, you have to open the move to iOS app after downloading it from the Play Store across your Android device. And while you set up the application, and you're gonna see the move, the move to Android screen, initializing in the process, and then click on continue, and just wait until a six digit number appears in order to be able to link both devices to one another. Uh, so take a look and enter the code manually across your Android device at the had a move to iOS app. A temporary Wi-Fi network will be created and by the iOS device, and it will be observable across your Android device. And then from there, you have to connect to that network specifically in order to be able to link both devices wirelessly. So click on uh, so click on connect across your Android device and wait for the transfer data screen to appear for you. And select the content, including the photos that you have to transfer uh, from your Android device to your iPhone. And then click on continue in order to start the process. And once this transfer is done, uh, go ahead and click on done across your Android device and then click on, on continue on your iPhone in order to continue configuring your device from there. So for part three, it's going to be transferring through Google Drive. So what else would you consider other than Google Drive if you won't be trying uh, the previously discussed methods. Now, Google Drive acts as the perfect source of data transfer for Android and iPhone if you wish to involve cloud services in the system. And in such scenarios, make sure to follow the steps that they're going to provide you with 
right now. So first things first, open the Android device and then lead over to the respective photos present in the gallery and then select photo and then click on share. And the available options, go ahead and select drive so that it's uploaded across your Google Drive account. And following this, install Google Drive on your iPhone. After installing the application, initialize it with your Google Drive account. And as you lead into the account, go ahead and find the added photo in the list of files and tap it to open. And then keep holding the image after opening it across the screen in order to open up notifications. As you see the pop-up of save to camera roll, uh, just click on OK in order to download it across your iPhone. So for part four, top four transfer applications available and that I can recommend to you guys. Some direct methods and options, you can consider some dedicated transfer applications as well in order to make this process a lot simpler and more streamlined for yourself. So transferring applications has been a great option that has been used by users in complex conditions. In order to make the process more efficient, you should be aware of these applications. You can consider them in situations where you just want a simple way of, of transferring everything. The PhotoSync has been a leading market provider service for transferring data between uh, computers and the mobile devices. So without any need to connect to a computer, you can just consider tra transferring your data over the local network with these. Now there are multiple transfer techniques available within the system, which make it quite the treat for users as well. Now next up is going to be photo transfer. Now considering that you wish to transfer high quality content among your devices, you need to have a tool uh, that makes processing easier. And so photo transfer is one such a dedicated application that, uh, that provides users with the opportunity to transfer HD media content with ease. While it works with all major operating systems, it is a great tool for both operating systems as it is and it's just great to have on your computer. Next is Zapia. And if you're looking for speed optimization, Zapia is one impressive option available in the market for mobile users. And while it is known to be pretty versatile, tool uh, that supports cross-platform transfer and uh, the tool has been designed with the objective of making your friendliness consistently better and you can have easy phone transfers with the aid of Zapia. Next up is going to be Share It. We have saved uh, the best for last year. So Share It is actually a platform uh, that has been offering data transfer services for a long time and while the process is going to be free and completely secure, it, it takes seconds to execute it perfectly. And sharing it individual photos across now the platform is easy and efficient and you just need uh, to find the right spot and quantity for transferring content across your devices. And that would be all for this video. And if you liked our video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this moving forward. So until next time, enjoy.